She's Network in Belize, better known as Win Belize, today held a graduation ceremony at the Old Belize Pavilion. A total of 71 aspiring women politicians from across the country gathered to receive certificates after completing weeks of training. The group of women is essentially aspiring for political office at the village and town council levels. Executive Director of Win Belize, Carolyn Reynolds, explains how the training prepares the women to be leaders. Each of these women had to complete at least 49 hours of training sessions, and they did. I also need to mention that some trainees who completed the program are not able to be here due to illness, work schedules, and being out of the country. The purpose of this training program is to strengthen women's political participation and leadership capacities, including those from rural and indigenous backgrounds, to prepare for and contest local and national elections. The areas covered were the concept of gender, how the political system works, advancing within the political parties, strategic positioning, campaign financing, dealing with political rallies, and dealing with the media. Three groups were set up to accommodate the many women from the North and the South, Belize City and Belmopan, who took part in the training sessions. The women include teachers, community leaders, village and town councillors, as well as public officers, employees of private institutions, and students. Graduates also spoke about their experience and how it has prepared them for the political field. I am grateful to be amongst present politicians, councillors, village women, aspiring politicians, and political advisors. All in all, future women leader for a country that is desperately in need of the warmth of a woman's heart. Today, I am honored to speak on behalf of the women of cohort two, the women in leadership. I shared eight memorable weeks with women built of palladium, that unbreakable glass which stands on that unbreakable glass that stands attacks and responds with upstart resilience. Training with these intelligent, hardworking, innovative, and creative sisters has been nothing short of profound. To summarize, I highlight the three most important lessons that training to be leaders has planted in me. Lesson one, as women, we are individually responsible to lend support to each other, regardless of political affiliation or any other dividing factor. We must become each other's ladders, safety nets, and pulleys. It is only after we have climbed this proverbial mountain that we will truly see the magnitude of Belizean women leaders. We believe in change for women, family, community, and Belize. My walk through this course was very eye-opening. It made me realize the need for more women to meaningfully participate in Belizean politics, where change can be effected to improve our families community, our country. Also giving remarks at the ceremony today was UNDP officer in charge of democratic governance, Elisha St. Luke. She says that cultural and traditional norms are but few of the challenges facing women wanting to be in politics. The commitment embedded in the Millennium Declaration, more specifically MDG 3, is that by 2015, Belize would have made consistent and continuous improvements in the relative capacity of women to access opportunities to serve as representatives. In order for this to happen, some of the root causes of women's absence from political leadership roles need to be addressed. It is evident that women at the national level are not only less likely to be voted into office, but are also less likely to enter into public life. Anecdotal evidence and interviews with women suggest that cultural norms and traditional perceptions of the roles of women 
predominate. And as such, women continue to work behind the scenes. The training was held under the theme, Strengthening Women's Representation in National Leadership in Belize. Dwayne Moody